if I didn't do this right now, I truly think all of my colonies would perish. Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives, Northeast Ohio Beekeeping. Now we are in the second week of October and what I'm doing right now is two very, very key details that I feel I need to do right now. If I don't do this, then truly, I think my colonies would not have as much of a chance to survive. So number one, what I did was about a week ago, I put Apivar strips in these colonies. Now, mite control is so key at this time of the year because the bees that are being raised in these uh, colonies right now are going to be my winter bees. So it's very key to have a low mite count this time of year so that your winter bees are healthy and your colonies survive. Now also what I'm doing is, and we can see that I have buckets on all of these colonies here, these hives, okay? I need to get feed on them. Now, right now there is nothing left. We've had, you know, really our, our fall flow, like my last video, and I'll throw a plug on that. Um, our fall flow was nil, okay? So what I need to do now is get a two to one syrup on all of my colonies. And I also have Hive Alive added into that. So you're getting the benefits of that. So let me go through and I'm gonna put some buckets on these uh, colonies. And then we're gonna talk about what I'm actually showing uh, that I'm wearing. Um, they're pretty darn comfortable, so I will say that. So let's get some buckets on and uh, then let's come back and talk a little bit more. Now my buckets that I have here, these are one gallon buckets and there are three holes drilled into this top lid and that's so that I can get a trickle feed on these colonies. So I have some lids here that already are plugged. So all I have to do is pop that plug and just put this bucket on. Um, having this system here, I'm trying to go to a system where everything is easy and standard. Um, I used to have like three or four different style feeders. It just made for a headache, you know, when you're having to deal with multiple different pieces of equipment. Now going to these, I think this will really help out. So, um, but let's get these on. Well, I'm glad that's done. So two very important uh, details in beekeeping right now, uh, mite control and feeding. There's nothing out there. So it's, you know, second week of October. And if I did not feed these colonies now, they would annihilate the stores that are in there and then guaranteed they would not make it through the winter. So, um, you know, just very important right now. Now, my apamaze that I have here and the polyhive I put feed on um, a couple days ago, it's gone. Um, the apamaze, now they've touched some of it, but both of my 10 frame apamaze uh, and the poly, what I put in those top feeders, it is empty. I will refill those tomorrow and make sure that they just have that feed. Now, this time of year, two to one, I put it on a little thicker. Um, you could even go thicker than that, and I add in the Hive Alive just for that supplement. That way they have that gut health and, you know, all the other benefits there. But the other thing I want to talk about, and I want to thank Cal Cal for the boots. Now, you can see I've been wearing these things, but I'm telling you, so my, for me to have comfortable boots, um, it, it's sometimes difficult. Uh, just, I have problems every once in a while with my left heel. Um, I think that's part of getting older, but I've been walking around in these things so far and they are comfortable. Uh, nice waterproof, uh, they're, you know, rubber, nice, you know, grip on them. Um, 
really, really nice boots, I will add that. And I'll show, you know, I have a, a close-up here on them, um, but these things are solid. Um, really want to say thank you to Cow Cow for sending them, because these boots, they're going to stay right in my honey room, and whenever I'm working in my apiary, or even shoveling snow, whatever it might be, um, I'm going to wear these darn things, because they're super comfortable. Um, but uh, that's it uh, for what's going on now. It's just mic control and feed. Um, I like, you know, looking down here now and seeing, you know, the apiary. Now there's one here that um, I did not judge. Uh, I did not count how many lids I needed. So that one's fine, though. I have it just on the inner cover. But, you know, they've all got buckets on them now. Um, the only ones that don't are my Apamaze and the Poly, and then the two at the farm have top feeders on them. So really, I'm kind of standardizing my equipment. But overall, the girls are, are looking good. Um, so that's about what we're doing now in Northeast Ohio uh, as far as beekeeping. So things are pretty much wrapping up, but can't believe it. Um, but that's it. So I do want to say thank you to everybody watching. Thank you again to Cow Cow for the wonderful boots. These things are, they've been sitting and I apologize that it's taken me so long to get the video out on those, but I've uh, been so darn busy. But these things are super comfortable. So um, just want to say thank you and you all take care. Man, them things are rugged.